Hello and welcome to physics problems one by one. So here is a problem. As always, read it maybe once, maybe twice, and then pause the video and try to solve it yourself. This problem is the continuation of the previous one. Remember, we received this formula for the case when the car was riding with the speed v1 and this is with v2, but this car was staying still for the period of time t0 and only after t0 passed this time this car started to drive and so the car started to drive v1 behind v2 in front and we calculated what time they meet and they meet for this period of time after they started to move and then we put the numbers and we received that in three hours they move uh, they meet oh, but what if, for example, T0, T0 would be not one hour, but two hours? If I plug the same numbers here, and V2 would be two hours, then 2 by 50 would be 100, and the top becomes 200 minus 100, and the bottom will be 100 minus 50, and T will become 50 at the bottom, 100 at the top, and T will become 2 hours. And if we think about this, if we think about this, we will see the first car covering 200 kilometers with 100 kilometers an hour. It would be exactly 2 hours. And this two hours, it would be the time when this car will arrive to this point and the second car will still be standing still and so they will meet here and it will be exactly after two hours. Nice. So that's immediately show, show to us that it's very nice to have the solution in generic form, in characters, with letters, uh, and substitute the numbers in the very, very end, because this gives us completely um, different situations. It shows us that the different situation can be described with the same form formula. Let's, for example, say that we say T0 equals 3 hours. It would be 3 hours, then T will become 200 minus 3 multiplied by 50, and this would be still 100 minus 50. So this would be 50 divided over 50, and T will become 1 hour. And that's kind of strange, because we know that for this car to reach this point, two hours is required. But the formula tells us that they will meet within one hour. How that could be? And that's kind of strange. And I will address this in the next permutation, in the next video. Right now, I'm kind of describing that there may be some strange things coming here. Uh, what will happen, for example, if I put, I can continue increasing T0, and I put, let's say, T0, uh, let's say, uh, 6 hours. But I also change the speed. I say that this speed would be uh, 100 and this speed would be 50. Something strange will happen here because first of all, according to this formula, V1 minus V2 would be minus 50. 
negative time and d would be 200 minus and I still have to put v2 t0 is 6 and v2 is 100 so I receive something like 200 minus 600 it would be minus 400 and I will divide it in minus 50 minuses will be gone and t would be 8 hours and that's kind of strange we just talk about that v1 is moving 50 and this is moving 100 so how it's possible that the car that's going slower will catch up to the car that's going faster it's kind of strange and so what I'm trying to say here that we came to the generic formula and this generic formula should work with any numbers because we didn't make any assumption and that's kind of good but at the same token there are strange things happening because there are kind of some phantom solutions one solution we can understand that they meet exactly at this point but solution when they meet within one hour one hour it's they meet somewhere in the middle or solution they will meet in eight hours so for six hours this car is traveling and then they meet some but wait a minute six hours at 50 kilometers it would be 300 kilometers so the car will be somewhere here and then this car will start moving and this car is moving with the speed 50 and this car is moving with the speed 100 oh okay so that's kind of makes sense this car now is behind this car is in front 100 minus 50 oh yeah that's what in the denominator was and so it's 50 so this car is catching to this with a speed of 50 kilometers an hour that makes sense and it's behind so six hours until this point and another two hours gives us eight hours that i just wiped out here that kind of makes sense and i suggest you think a little bit about this situation and meantime I record the next video uh, where I give even more generic approach than I used using uh, when I solved this and arrived to this formula and I solved it graphically and hopefully this all will make sense for you uh, meantime don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to click the bell and this way you will never miss when I publish a new problem and I will publish a lot of them. Thank you.